Good morning, hello beautiful people. I'm coming to you live. Just kidding, this is pre-recorded. I'm coming to you right now from Uchiko town, uh, which is in Ehime prefecture. Yesterday I flew from Tokyo to Matsuyama airport and uh, also I got the best view of Fuji along the way. So if you fly from Tokyo, keep an eye out because it was beautiful. Drove all the way here. It is super early in the morning because I'm at a beautiful viewing platform looking out over what is soon to be the sunrise. I brought a little picnic with me. Just so you know, Ehime is famous for its citrus and this is their, their local mascot. This is Mikyan. And yeah, I've been invited here by Uchiko Town and Ozu City to check out the areas, enjoy some beautiful nature and see what they have to offer. So come with me on this journey and let's enjoy ourselves. I'm gonna be quiet and give you guys a little bit of ambience, except for the sound of me eating my breakfast. Also, isn't that cute? In the background, we have some drying persimmons. So good, if you guys haven't tried dried persimmons, they're delicious, they're incredibly sweet, but they're my favorite dried fruit, I recommend. Also guys, I brought my own breakfast, but uh, for certain parts of the year when you can see the sea clouds, they actually do a breakfast here. So they'll make it for you and you can enjoy the view, so. Oh, that is so pretty, look pretty. Ooh. Thank you so much. We're going to fire lit for us. Take my hands. That's what I see. We were talking about the dried persimmons and now we get to do a little experience because <laughs> they brought over some persimmons so I'm going to learn how to do it so I can do it myself at home. <laughs> Two for home, but then also I get to do it myself at home as well. They give me so many persimmons. Ooh. Oh my gosh, more things you can run out. We got some sweet potatoes. <laughs> okay, this is uh, yomogi, yomogi mochi, yomogi. So mugwort in English, mugwort uh, mochi with uh, bean, red bean inside. Oh, it's so good. Thank you. And now we enjoy Asahi Imo. And now 10,000 shiitake mushrooms. Okay, here's my shiitake. And they gave me more dried persimmons and persimmons to turn into dried persimmons. So, whew, see if they fit in my suitcase. <laughs> So kind and generous. Oh, that's so heavy. Hello, it's voiceover Emma here. I wanted to let you know in this video, I was with my coworker Kanako, so you'll see her pop up every now and then. Okay, bye for now. Hello, we're on to our next thing, which is a walking tour around Uchiko. Uh, and we've already, we've just started and we've come to the local soba shop and uh, they're making pickles right now. <laughs> we went on a walking tour through the hills of Uchigo and got to see lots of nature, farmland and a bunch of cute grandmas, including a very lively 93-year-old grandma who was still working in the fields. <laughs> <laughs> we also had a guide with us who taught us about the town's history. The highlight of the tour was a beautiful bridge that leads to Yuge Shrine, but unfortunately it was under construction. Since then, it's now being completed. We did get to see the lake drained, a bunch of workmen working on it, but we could still go over the bridge and visit the shrine. The ending of the night, welcome of the dawn. So we finished the walking tour and now we've come to downtown Uchiko to an area called uh, 
Yokaichi Gokoku, and there's heaps of old houses here. Yeah, we're having a look around. So this area originally became famous for its wax, which is used in a variety of things. I think it's vegetable wax and uh, used in candles and stuff. And it became very prosperous. And a lot of these houses are from the end of the Edo period and the beginning of the Meiji period. So some of them have different designs and different restorations depending on what period they're from. Also, yeah, the area has been nicely restored and they removed all of like the, <laughs> the modern signs and telephone poles and stuff to keep it very pristine and very traditional. So yeah, really beautiful area. We got some mikan, we got some persimmons, but I, oh my, look at, look at the size of these. If I didn't already have a huge bag of them, I would take some with me. It's always the hardest thing for me, visiting smaller towns. I just want to buy all the produce. <laughs> That's all I want. Yeah, just wandering around and learning about the history of this place and how they made the wax and everything and the guy who owned basically all of it, Hagasan. Very interesting history lesson. And the buildings are beautiful. Oh, こんにちは。こんにちは。そうだね。イエーイ。おお、ありがとう。よかったね。可愛いですね。おお、やつはどうでしたか?ねえ、美味しかったね。おお、よかった。こんにちは。おお、よかったね。めっちゃくちゃ
Goodbye, Ichigo. Goodbye. I bought all of your fruits and vegetables. Thank you so much. Hello, I had a nap in the car. We are now in Ozu uh, and I'm staying at Nipponia Hotel. I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour and then before dinner, I might take a nap because we got up very early. Cat! No, 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 no. Close to the hotel, just in the... I arrived at the hotel and ate some wagashi and checked in. And let me tell you, this place was fancy. There were a bunch of different houses that the hotel owned around the town and I was staying in one with a garden attached. In that garden, there was a plum tree that was received from the emperor as a gift for silk that was made there. And the plum tree still has plums and they use them in the hotel restaurant. Also, here's my raw reaction to seeing the place that I was staying in. Okay. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> Kobatsu. Oh, is this Angawa? Oh. Okay, before the sun goes down and I take a nap, let's do a little room tour and show you guys the entire place. There's a double entrance, there's like a solid door and then there's this glass door, both lockable. Shoes, Genkan, come on in, myself. Immediately you turn to the left and you have the bathroom. Hello. In the bathroom down here we have hairdryer, towels, sink, wood bench, Heaps of little things that I can use. I love little things I can use and steal and take home, my favorite. Trash. And then in here we have the bath. Hinoki, cypress wood. I will be having a bath tonight. Look at the size of that tap head. But of course, before I get into the bath, I need to take a shower, which is over here. Beautiful wooden walls and the tile is gorgeous. Hinoki stool and back out we go. Goodbye. In here we have toilet. Are you Toto or your Panasonic? Then we go up the stairs. Beautifully lit second floor. Oh, the sun's going down. It's gorgeous. I'm out of breath again from the stairs. Walking into the first room, we have this amazing kotatsu. I think the most beautiful kotatsu I've seen in my entire life. Over here, I believe we have a fridge. Woohoo! And all of this is uh, included in the price, so I'm gonna drink all of it, including some mikan juice for Mehime. It's just a very nicely decorated and styled place. And in here we have the bedroom. Just gorgeous. Also, special note, this house used to be a place where they made silk from silkworms. So these lamps and the light on the ceiling and the lamps in the corner are all based on the shape of silk moth cocoons. And then from here we can see the beautiful garden outside. Ah, oh, this is insane. Oh, that. Just gonna do my thing and I'll check in when I check in. Maybe I'll just take a nap. We are venturing out into the evening before the sun goes down. It's just so nice. That's where I live now. I'm not leaving. They have to drag me out, kicking and screaming. Time to wander around before the sun completely leaves and before dinner time. Hello. Wow. Oh, stanced up. Watch out, they go in between your legs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cat. Also coming just outside of the gates, there is a beautiful river. They gave me a, a lantern. Oh, I look like I'm about to tell a spooky story. They uh, gave me a lantern so I can walk with the lantern. Definitely, it's very nice right now. There's not too many people around. I uh, would not get these kind of vibes in Tokyo, <laughs> that's for sure. But yeah, also I had a look and uh, there's easy access from Matsuyama Airport to here. There's like a direct bus. Leading the way. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> there's little shops around here too. There's a leather crafting shop there. Oh, is this dry? Oh, dry flowers. Well, we walked to the castle. 
know that. So from where I'll be sitting, you can actually see the castle right there. Look at that, that's crazy, it's right there. So before we talked about the tree at the front of that place that I'm staying, how it is a tree that was a present from the emperor and it still has plums and ume tree. And those plums are used by the hotel in different things, including this squash. So this ume, ume juice, ume squash, and that's one of the plums from that plum tree. So I'm very lucky and happy that I get to try it. Super sweet, very nice ume flavor. It's almost apricotty, but that is really, really delicious. They've used a ripe ume. So for a lot of ume shu, you use uh, unripe ume. This is a ripe one, so there's a different flavor to it. It's really good, very refreshing, very delicious. The hotel restaurant served Japanese and French fusion cuisine, and it had some more experimental flavors that I really enjoyed. I did describe every dish, but if I included it in this video, it would be like two hours long, so I cut most of it. Um, but I did include some highlights. The cauliflower is pickled, and then that like sweetness and sourness matches nicely with the beef. I keep thinking there's someone outside, but it's my own reflection. Mmm, <laughs> with that crunch. I don't know what that crunch is, but I like it. The food was elegant, delicious, had a very sophisticated flavor, and the dessert in particular was very special. They killed it. It is so good. Give, let, give me a second. Okay, give me, give me another second. Hello, good morning everybody. Just woke up feeling fresh. I went to bed at like 9 p.m. and now I'm alive again. <laughs> I had a really beautiful bath in the cypress tub last night and it was awesome. And now we're up a little bit early to go to do a tea ceremony. How are you doing this morning, Kanako? Sleepy. Sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. We'll be doing the uh, tea ceremony. It looks like there's a lot of uh, construction going on for a big bridge or something. Just a heads up, guys, I am actually really bad at Caesar, so like sitting on my knees, uh, I find it really painful, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> I mean, shame about the construction, but still, look at that water. What a place. Construction definitely adds another level. Mm. Yeah, that was really delicious. Really, really good green tea. High quality. It didn't have as much of a bitterness as it usually does. Very fun. Very cool. And beautiful view while we do it. Well, that was a beautiful way to start the day. A lovely tea ceremony. And now I guess we get to have a full on breakfast. Oh, okay. All right. I see how it is. All right. Oh my God. All right. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
about to leave the hotel in a little bit, but just having some final kotatsu time. It's just so good. It makes me want to get one in my house. I had a nightmare. It was summer. I had a nightmare that winter was already over. <laughs> I was so sad. <laughs> Goodbye, beautiful house. Goodbye. Goodbye. It has been nice seeing you. We've just gone for a little drive and now I've come to a woodworking workshop. Woodwork workshop, shop the work, wood the. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing some traditional style uh, woodwork here. I think I'm gonna be making a coaster uh, and this style is popular in Aussie City. So let's give it a go. <laughs> is called Fujita Tategu and they make beautiful Japanese wood features that are usually used in doors. They use a traditional method called kumiko where the wood is carved so that it slots perfectly together so no nails or glue are needed. So it means you can't really tell where the wood connects and it's really beautiful and seamless. They also showed me some very fancy lamps that they were working on too. Ooh, ooh. Beautiful lamp. Oh, <laughs> So the cord from down there to up here is actually behind this piece of wood. That's insane. While I was there, I got to experience a workshop and make my own coaster. They make kits where they prepare the wood so that you get the experience of slotting it together perfectly and it is super satisfying. <laughs> Afterwards, they showed me how to shave wood into long strips and then turn those strips into petals and then we put them together into a, like a little wooden flower, which I ended up having on my Christmas tree this past Christmas. So it was very I'm cute. I'm concentrating so much. I okay. forgot how to talk. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Just went in the car for a little bit and we're back to the original spot uh, in Ozu City, downtown. And we've come to a place called Aburaya to have some lunch. And this will be our final spot, so nice thing to end on. Woohoo! She got the moves. She got the moves. She's a dancing cool lady who's got the moves. <laughs> Even myself, I also have the moves. Okay, guys, it's lunchtime. Itadakimasu. I got a big bowl of abura soba, which is like oil soba. There's no liquid, uh, but this has a lot of sudachi, so a lot of uh, a certain kind of citrus. It's like a very sour, almost limey citrus. Uh, it's very, very good. But this is where I'm gonna say goodbye. I wanted to thank both Ozu and Uchiko so much for inviting me here. I've had an awesome time. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. Both areas have their own unique things and they were both amazing experiences. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this or not like this. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Janet.